Wrestling Mayhem Show. Since 2006, the pioneer in pro wrestling. The Wrestling Podcast. Mayhem Show. Since 2006, the, the pioneer Indie in pro wrestling. Indie wrestling Podcast. Podcast. Network for your independent wrestling entertainment. This show is brought Slice to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni and pizza. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 800. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to tick that up. People love when I do this live on the air. 890 Tuesdays we've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on all the social medias. Uh, and with me, first of all, we have on the call, he is, I don't know, do I do I plug your iPhoneography podcast on this one? <laughs> I don't remember. Sure, that's me. Dave Potter that is works. here. Hey. Hey. Prop up on most of the social medias. Mm-hmm. Good to have you back, sir. No. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. And also doing the two for a podcast tonight. It is the Riz. And I'll say the same thing I said last time. Baldur's Gate three is the better game. No, that's the other podcast. That's we we really I don't did care. crossover. Turn it out there. We? we 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 did crossover. Uh, and also our special guest, first time on the show. Uh, you've seen him all over places, including Enjoy Wrestling, Eight Eighty Wrestling, AIW. And uh, top rope tabletop, uh, Mikey Montgomery Woo, is here hands. in the chat. Oh, the, the live on air already died. <laughs> I did just, it really? Yeah, oh. it did. Oh, well, oh, new no. batteries later, I guess. Now, thank you for joining us, sir. You look, you're festive with the, the, oh, the yeah. Christmas sweater, standard ugly Christmas sweater. Do you call this ugly? I, I mean, like, it was pretty nice, but I'm like, I it's can't very it's festive. ugly. You know what's really... funny? I wear this sweater all year round. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no, nice. it stays in rotation. I don't wear it in public unless it's, you know, like past November. Yeah, you're really dressed up for this show. Dressed up. Yeah. You got a sweater and the McDonald's and my Crocs. McDonald's Crocs. There you go. Whoa. Look at that. See? Nice. I know. Ziggy got them for me for an she called it an early Christmas present, but I think she just got them off on on a whim. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna catch up with you and introduce you to anybody that doesn't know who who Mikey is. Uh, of course, you're you're gearing up for Tony Kincaid's Christmas Chaos here on Friday with Top Rope Tabletop. We'll talk about that a little bit here in the show as well. Well, let's get into the wrestling talk, and uh, we usually try to kick off talking about whatever's going on in WWE. And I don't know CM. I don't know how many of you guys watched Deadline over the weekend because I know it's been a busy wrestle weekend for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, which you know is also the like second year of the most baffling wrestling concept I think WWE has ever done uh, with the Iron Man Survivor Challenge. Um, but I figured because we really didn't really talk much about it because we mostly talked about uh, physical media last week. <laughs> I guess yeah. um, since that's apparently dying at WWE. But I, I, I guess it is kind of good to take the temperature of the room. How are we? Two weeks in of the of the latest CM Punk experiment. Uh, I I I really <laughs> don't know how to feel about seeing CM Punk on my TV again. Again on um, a different night of the week. Uh, yeah, absolutely. On three nights of the week last week. I mean, apparently. like I already wasn't watching the the show that he was was on originally, so it's now just I don't know. I mean, I I I don't watch AEW or. WWE enough to be like he is a good fit or he isn't a good fit. Mm-hmm. I just know that there is a lot of people in the locker room who are upset or <laughs> otherwise about about his return. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you know, we'll see where it goes. Mm-hmm. Let's see if if he actually does what he said he was going to do. You know, a year and a, a year and a half ago, two years ago, and say he was gonna. You know, work with all the kids and put them over. Uh, you know, yeah, straight for the kids like Seth Rollins. I know, right? Yeah. And then and calling out Roman Reigns and 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 just being buddy buddy with Shawn Michaels so far. Yeah. So so far so good, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I am I am holistically indifferent on this thing because I am kind of like get me to a thing we're doing the tour we're doing the goodwill tour he's gonna have his first match they announced against dominic mysterio in uh i think in the los Los angeles market for the holiday tour 
Uh, so like this already tells me he's just fitting into where they fit people in. And, and I, I don't think he's doing the, the house. Uh, you know, I think we were talking in the chat on the wrestling man show, uh, uh, Facebook group chat. I, I don't think he's doing the full, like, you know, house loop. I think he's going to be like how we, you know, Roman reigns and, 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 uh, uh, Brock Lesnar would do like the Madison Square Garden shows or the big market house shows or something like that, right? Uh, to pop those tickets. And is I, is is he that guy though? I don't really. I think, think he, he is, is now. Yeah, he is now. Because he is now. You have to think about it. The, the what CM Punk is is week after week promo, 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 mm-hmm. and then you get the pay per view match, right? So th- he still has to be on tv every sure. week for for him to do that i don't see him but i don't see him doing match match yeah but he's never no. done that think about that yeah yeah, yeah. okay all even right. when he was doing his like you know the summer of punk mm-hmm. it was all promo all promo all promo and then you get the the pay-per-view match mm-hmm. so i can see i can see him doing some house shows just to get back into ring shape or wwe ring shape so he's used to that mm-hmm. um but also, I hope I think they realize they got an old man. In I think punk. he knows that too. I think yeah. I, I I don't I don't foresee him doing. He looks so rough after some of those matches. I yeah. do not foresee him doing house shows. I don't think that's what he wants to do or no. what they want him Agreed. to do. Mm-hmm. He's a mu- I, that's he's- not to say that he couldn't use the house shows to get into the ring shape. Sure. Well, like I said, I think that's why he's doing like it's Inglewood, Madison Square Garden. Mm -hmm. You know, he may be down the PC for all we know, you know, or working with someone. I doubt doubt it. it. I I I doubt doubt it. it. But, you know, you know, just just trying to get his like I said, when Mentley never wrestled, but hearing from what wrestlers say, getting back into ring shape. You know, just so he can get used to writing the ropes, he doesn't look like a complete idiot when he does the World Rumble. I don't think he needs to get into general ring shape because he has wrestled as 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 recently as August. Yeah, um, I was going to say he's been off TV yeah. for what a month? Yeah, like like two yeah. or three, like three months basically, yeah. right? Uh, two two months. Wow, that was it. Um, and and and, and classically, when he yeah. came in at first AEW, he had not worked out. <laughs> he, no. he's, he's like i haven't hit a ring yet like he's like i hit, I hit a ring like last week you and know he didn't the entire time he was there <laughs> <laughs> you can argue <laughs> that too you know i you know for, for all it is um yeah and I mean, there was a lot about his ring shape and how he was looking in the ring and everything like that right so i'm um, not that he was ever like a terribly you know amazingly uh uh, uh athletic uh uh uh, uh uh specimen or it's not like his bobby no, his lashley pro- going his promo there. made him better than he was absolutely. Mm-hmm. absolutely like if you watched him purely for his matches and especially when they first got a hold of him in the wwe and like when they got when they had wwe ecw mm-hmm. and they were giving him like that martial arts gimmick mm-hmm. you watch it and you're like he doesn't know martial arts. <laughs> he doesn't at all. Right, right. He's wrestled on the indies for right. God knows how long. Mm-hmm. I don't know who he was trained by, but I mean, a lot of the matches he was having was like super indie content. You know, like it was move, 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 move. I think it was Ace Steel. Right? Yeah, actually, no, that makes... Yeah, that's true. I'm, I'm double checking that right now. Uh, I'm the research well. department without Mike here. Uh, well, also, Ace, also, Ace, Ace, Ace Steel, Danny De, Dominion, and Kevin Quinn, not to be confused with Quinn Magnum. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead, partner. Okay. Uh, t- from Tina in chat, Punk was at NXT tonight. Okay. Was he on, on then, screen or just hanging? I don't, I, I, I watched I it the, off and on and yeah, I missed I'm, it. I missed the first 40 of, of NXT mm. this evening. Did he so. have a match on NXT? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Man, so that, so that, that I mean, that still kind of proves my point. Give me CM yes. Punk versus Briggs. Well, the oh, thing God. is, I, you don't want CM Punk on a televised show too soon. No. Why wouldn't you? He's money. Yeah, I know. Don't you want to draw Possibly. money to that product? Yeah. You, mm-hmm. know, you know, you have you have him debut at, at, at War Games, right? Mm-hmm. And then he cuts a promo on Raw. And then, you know, like if he's going to fight Re- or Dominic Mysterio or I don't know. Mm-hmm. Is that the storyline that they're going with? No, no, that's not the story. That's not even the storyline. That's just a house show. That's a house show. show. That's, that's a, a house show. show. Like, yeah. just, why? That's, that's, that's Brock Lesnar versus Kofi Kingston. NXT, just be like, announce it. Be like, 
CM Punk is going to have a match on NXT on Tuesday or on Tuesday night. And, mm. and then you get, you know, however many CM Punk fans to finally tune into an episode of NXT because he's announced. Mm. Having it, it, a match. It, it might have even just the thing to spruce the crowd up at uh, there or he was there visiting or he was just working out. Who knows? So I think it was incidental that he happened to be there tonight. But or he just uh, is new best buddies with Shawn Michaels after last week. Got it. So. Uh, um, the power of the selfie. The just power old, of the selfie. Just two old men just hanging out. Listen, yeah. I mean, come on, you've seen it. Look at you've seen look it. At us. You've look seen at it us. around the wrestling biz. Come <laughs> oh, on, yeah. you know, um, you'll you'll be. Listen, I know you're a young guy in the business, Mikey, but you'll be that old old guy hanging out. At I'm already point. that. Old you're guy. already that old guy. <laughs> my most of my mannerisms are old. I've noticed actually. Yeah. <laughs> so. A lot of other people have noticed too. Yes, yes, um, but uh, no, I, I, I think I don't think he touches. I don't think he touches his, his knee pads, his gear until until Rumble. I think it's just promos like every other week until the Rumble. That gear is gonna stink until oh. that Saturday <laughs> or that Friday. He's not even gonna get new gear. Either. No, <laughs> is he? No, he's gonna have that same like black, uh, black, red, and silver. <laughs> no, he's gonna bring Chicago. He's gear. gonna bring the long stripes, the, uh, the 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 long pants uh, that pissed everybody off uh, oh a year God. ago. I remember oh. watching that pay per view and being like, "Punk, where are is, your legs at?" This is he does his return, and this is the gear he chooses. Yeah, yeah. He's forty five, and he's been out of well. I, so he had, he was seven years out of in ring action. He's had mm-hmm. in in ring action arguably for the last two years. So he's you know, multiple injuries in multiple injuries in that time, which has got yep. to be. That's the other reason why I think you're not going to see him on TV every week because he but, has a history. But you're, he's covering 45 percent of his legs anyway with the. <laughs> OK, with I'm past the, the legs. Head. I'm past mm-hmm. the legs, actually. Um, but but still like, yeah, no, he's God. He had like reconstructive foot surgery or something, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. So yeah. like when he broke his foot. Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to be an attraction. He, they're yeah. not going to do anything that isn't going to be, be insanely safe for him. You know, he's going to yeah. be <laughs> coddled. That you know, when it comes mm-hmm. to, and I'm not, you know, not saying personality is going to be coddled. I don't know, maybe he is. I don't know, but he he's going to be like put in a position to win or nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like sure. he's going to be mm-hmm. crown jewel guy. He's going to be WrestleMania guy, Rumble guy. Like he's going to be marquee match and. Man, I don't think he's not like Cody Rhodes, who's just more than happy to be on a house show loop right now, mm-hmm. right? Or at least that's what he tells us uh, with that big ass smile. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I am like, well, when we get to something of 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 worth, I think it'll be great. In the meantime, it's just punk being punk and cool. I'm kind of over it at this point. Yeah, that, that's kind of the feeling I, I had. In the beginning, I, I like mean, in AEW, because I wasn't, I wasn't too big on him coming to AEW, mm-hmm. but I was, I was ha- like, same thing I am now. I am indifferent of mm-hmm. CM Punk, mm-hmm. but I am happy that a lot of people are having their moment with him. Like sure. a lot of people are having that. Oh my god, this is never, this is never going to happen, but it's happening now. That moment of CM Punk is there is great for them. The average WWE fan that doesn't even isn't even aware yes. AEW exists or are, are like get their turn. You know what I mean? And then this is yeah. it. Like there is like I think there is a general if, population that WWE is wrestling and, and that's fine. Like that's their brand. That's that's 60, 70, 100 years of, of a brand build, right? And mm. and you know, just like, um, what do you mean? There's video games outside of Xbox. You know, like people have the blinders on if they're they have, just in that yeah. world, right? And, and and that's not like, and that's not a detraction. That's you know, just that that's fine. That's just how like the general fan that doesn't live and breathe this like, like all of us do, you know, reacts to these things. And that's big news when CM Punk is there because that is literally a mm-hmm. headline. If he's back at WWE, that is a that is technically a bigger deal than him coming back the first time. Absolutely. Absolutely. He, he, he also mm-hmm. needs to know that Triple H is not Tony Khan. And if anything happens... I think he's very aware of that. I think yeah, he is. I I'm, think there's been some conversations. I yeah. think he's... I think they're, he's wildly aware of that situation. No, like, I, I know, I, that meeting I, I between know. them definitely was just two snick, 
two scrunched up faces. Just two mm-hmm. angry men just looking at each other being like, I hate you, but I want to make money. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's absolutely it's, it. It's Phil Brooks talking to Paul Levesque all over also again. Also consider, because we're seeing these stories about how they're not doing any uh, live shows here over over the holidays. So, like, they are, um, um, like, like, Paul's a little softer than he used to be. Paul's like, I want everybody to hang with, uh, with their family because I had a big health scare and almost freaking died. So... He's an old softy now. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, maybe if Vince had, you know, and I'm not wishing upon, but I'm just saying it hypothetically, if Vince had a heart attack when he was like 55 years old, you might have a very different WWE. He probably did. He probably he did. It. About it. He probably did and walked he it pro- off. No, he probably did and told literally nobody because he saw it as weakness. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Sneezing yeah. is weakness. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we always hear. He probably didn't even see a doctor about it and was like, oh, that was weird, pal. <laughs> yeah probably yeah probably um, well, can we also scratch it up to some people are just better under certain <sighs> circumstances than others mm-hmm. like punk it may be a better fit under wwe where moxley is a better fit under like an aew type management same absolutely. thing with brian danielson absolutely this this goes you to know, this goes to that old like uh if you didn't make it in WWE, you're not a bad wrestler. You just didn't fit the company culture, right? Hey, you're a really good video editor, but this company you're just not going to fly mm-hmm. with. You know, like I, I've always been a really big one on that. And that, and that's it. Maybe it is, you know, whatever that is. Maybe like they give him what he needs to, you know, we, we, we talked about this going mm-hmm. into it. WWE knows how to deal with difficult, difficult personalities, especially if they're money makers. You fucking deal with it. You know what I mean? Um... Whereas at AEW, there's no one to be like, no one to keep them. In no. They just don't know how to do it. They, just, they, they just don't have the experience. Well, there to do is it. there is no person to yeah. be like, I I am going to keep you guys in line. Yeah, but it'd be like like you have your difficult like when you when you talk about look at look at hypothetically and and I don't know all of this hundred percent, but I'm just hypothetically like, like, Tony Khan is involved with the Jaguars, correct? Like, yeah. like it, it, yeah. in some, some his dad, aspect. His dad he, is, oh, yeah. but, but he's, he has a hand in it, I believe. Mm-hmm. He does not directly dealing with the talent. There are levels of management and stuff that deals with them. <sighs> he is personally booking and organized the wrestling. That's a whole different animal. He's back there in the dirt with all the wrestlers. Mm-hmm. And I, I just, I don't think he was brand new to that. Well, case five years in sure, but relatively brand new to that world. Didn't come up in the business. You know, just said I am starting a wrestling company with a with a handful of people that do know the business, right? And are hopefully guiding him. Mm. Hypothetically, one of those guys left. <laughs> so, what would does it, that mean? I don't know. What, what it seems like to me, from an outside perspective, and I don't really have a, a like a I don't talk to anybody who is currently signed to AEW, or I don't have like a personal connection. Like I know a couple of people that are signed there, but I don't talk to any of them on a on a regular basis. But what it seems like to me is that is that Tony is is less of a coach and more of a player, mm-hmm. where he's just he's along for the ride with the boys, instead of being like this is my vision and and everybody needs to play a part in it. I think it's more like a kid with his toy box. Exactly well, is is my is always been my the, view with it. Absolutely, but it, <coughs> imagine imagine if the toys were his sized and had personalities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, yeah, what it exactly. Is. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so I'll, go well, I, I'm going to steal a line here. I'm going to steal a line here from somebody. Um, from the Tights and Fights podcast, where one of the hosts says it's Tony and his little dollies. <laughs> okay, and that's how yeah. he acts like it. Uh, yeah, yeah, and you, you definitely get that. You definitely get that. And, and, and I get it's that. also I get where they get he gets bored after a while with some of them. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Mikey. I, I get sorry, that. Mikey. No, you're you're totally fine. I was the one talking over, but well, you, I, yeah, I, I got a little bit of Zoom lag, and sometimes yeah. that happens. So I get I get that to an extent, but it almost seems like if it were dolls, he could corral them, but it's not that doesn't really seem like that from an outside perspective Mm -hmm. it seemed it Uh, seems like he mm -hmm. wants to corral them or like he's he's trying to be the overall morale guy Mm -hmm. and is like everything is going super great but there's no overall oversight 
as to what's going on at any given yeah. time. It'll be yeah. interesting to see how it goes. I, I, go ahead. I dub it as like more of Tony Khan is running EFED right now. <laughs> and everyone in that area is saying, why don't you like my RP? Why don't you like my RP? Why don't you like my RP? And it's just like one of those things where it's, you can't manage it as much as you can, as yeah. much as you think yeah. you can. It looks good on paper. Like I have John Moxley. I have Chris Jericho. I have the young bucks. I have, um, uh, Naito. Sometimes I have everybody that I want to have on my show on my show, but how am I going to put the square in the square hole? What, right. Why is it? Why is it that the circle is going in the square hole? Why is everybody angry that it's going in the square hole? Yeah, it's like it's a, it's almost just like I have the pegs, I have my hands, I have the mm. holes. I don't know how to use my hands. Yes, <laughs> and I'm all thumbs. So you need yeah. well, so you need somebody to come behind you like Ghost Patrick Swayze and like <laughs> and like grab your hands. <laughs> And pick up the pieces yeah. and put them in the hole. And you have everything. And make some good pottery. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. What, where did this <laughs> metaphor go? What's happening here? I don't know. Um, I was trying to got think. Weird. Of yeah. Uh, but you know, anyways, it's, it's the show. Well, if you're all thumbs as well, uh, don't worry about the pottery. You can help us out uh, and use those thumbs and go to patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Uh, so <laughs> we got a lot of stuff going on over there. And of course, uh, we do try to do our Patreon after talks last week. We found out, uh, who kept, who scared Reese Hayes away for five years before he actually got back into actually training for wrestling. Wait, what? Yeah, that was the story. And I actually talked to the individual that scared him. So, and we're going to bring them together. Oh, no. we're gonna, I, future it was pod, actually or? funny. I talked to that person and like I was actually going to book him today, but he's busy. Uh, so Damn. I don't know. Yeah, we should do. We should just bring them together. Like, yeah, it's like a reality show kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And we'll bring them together. This is your life. You got to tell me off my You, you got to hear the story. You got to hear the story over on Patreon. Uh, thank you, everybody that does support our Patreon over there. Uh, and, uh, and of course, uh, you know, coming up here, uh, we should. I haven't talked to. <clears throat> We haven't had this discussion yet. Excuse me. Uh oh. You know, but out. Mayhem Mania is coming up. Yeah, just Mayhem oh, Mania really God. has me. <laughs> Mayhem uh, Mania. That thought I experiment. Love Mayhem Mania. Tis the season coming up here sometime in January. Usually around the Rumble, we start. Um, there is. Tell them about Mayhem Mania. Uh, Mayhem Mania is a thought process that. Um, who was it? Matt Carlin's. Uh, the. Magic mind of Matt Carlin's uh, decided that I like the hand movement when you said yeah, that magic um, that uh, we can make our own WrestleMania card uh, one match at a time, mm -hmm. and I think we one year we did like the Forbidden Door portion of it, and that was fun. Um, and we just take a wrestler, take another wrestler from different aspects. But they have to be wrestling and they have to be in the WWE sometimes, even though Matt Hardy was in WWE yeah. at one I mean, point. Great but I stuff. couldn't great but stuff somehow I couldn't use Matt Hardy, even though Matt Hardy was in there. Great matches we came up with last year, like yeah. Bolton Nakano versus Rhea Ripley and uh Walter versus Asuka. Um, you know, stuff like that. But uh a lot of fan participation if you're part of the Patreon, patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show as low as a dollar will get you all the stuff including our friends uh, and thank you to our friends that do contribute including at the, at the fan of the show level Bo Diggity Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh, wow. Ed Burke Team Hammerfist and the Tupac family our what? friends from 880 what you didn't know about this I didn't know no that's the first time I'm hearing that yeah, it was been awesome. like three weeks or something uh, at the poppy club level Dave Prof Bob Bonner spouse of Rooster Lear Affair at roosterlearaffair.com Yes, you can use these for plugs. Uh, at Rats in a Trench Code, Tony Kincaid. At the Pizza Club level, Doc Remedy, The Riz, and Lance Fisher. And at the manager level, Bradley. You guys can support the show, too, at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Mikey and, Mc... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. No, no, just adding on to the Patreon. What? If you are interested for Mayhem Mania, the higher you go, the more you get. Yes. That you can do. In fact, we have had threats in the chat room 
Tina right. saying Tina says I must remove renew my manager status here soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yep, I'm reading that. I'm reading that. Yeah, yeah. This is where <laughs> feelings get hurt in Mayhem Mania oh, yeah. season. Uh Mikey Montgomery is here, yes. a uh, a Bitcoin boy, if you will. Oh, Are no. you still a Bitcoin boy? No. Do you <laughs> I not don't know, know how that resulted? I don't know. I don't know how that resulted. I, listen, I just finally <laughs> signed up for Fight Plus to try to catch up on AIW. Okay. So I don't know how that went. Last time I saw you guys were in the JLIC tournament last year, I was there for only night one. <laughs> so I don't even know so how that you're resolved. A little uh, far behind. I'm a little far behind. Mm-hmm. I'm like so a, let me catch you up on the lore. Okay. So. Money shot were going after me and Eric's titles. Okay. And I was feeling a little hesitant about it because I saw Duke talking with them a few times. Okay. I was like, something's not right here. Okay. I tried to coincide with Eric. I said, Eric, something's not right here. He said, don't worry and, about and this it. And is, this isn't Duke Davis. This is No, Duke. this is the Duke. The Duke at AIW. The Duke yes. in AIW. He said, don't worry about it, Mikey. Everything's going to be fine. Before I knew it, the golden boot, the signature of the Duke, was right in the back of my head by Eric Taylor, mm. turned on by my own best friend. What the hell? And that resulted in Eric Taylor getting a moonsault from the top of a cage in Akron, Ohio. Can't date in Ohio? Akron, Ohio. I think. But anyways, we're not friends anymore. Yeah, so it's just me. You're the you're the Bitcoin boy now. No, 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 no. I'm the blonde blur. Okay, <laughs> still two Bs, but oh, nice. No crypto- I like how you kept that together, yeah. so you didn't even have to change your types. No, cri- no cryptocurrency involved. Oh, good. Oh, good. That's kind of. Good. <laughs> I'm Absolutely. glad that I'm glad you passed that because that would be. I just watched Clerks Three, and there's a guy named Blockchain on there, and I realized <laughs> how dated that is, and that was like a year ago, I think. It's so so funny. yeah, I was um. We, I mean, even when me and Eric were still teaming, like we came, we were given that name by uh, Philly Collins. Okay. Um, but w- when we started using that name, it was already at the tail end of like the buzzword of what Bitcoin. Bitcoin. <laughs> and then we would go places, and fans would be like, "You guys really shouldn't be investing in Bitcoin because it's going <laughs> down." Wait, you're getting financial advice at the booth? Yeah, from like. <laughs> From like snot nose marks, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I was getting financial advice from people, and and at at a certain point, I wanted to change the name. Um, I can't remember. I just wanted to change our name to the boys with a Z. The boys. The boys. Yeah. What, but, but there's an Amazon show that may confuse yeah. that. Uh huh. Okay. I also thought of that. Okay. <laughs> So, so you haven't had a good luck with team names, is no. what you're saying. The only one that's really stuck is Cupid's Chokehold, me and Z. Yes, yeah. So we got to see you guys at the last big uh, Friday 880 show. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, we, we, you Wildflowers, was it? I think. I mean, no, the no, last eight, no, no, no. the last 880 show, we lost against the fourth line. That's we, right. That's but the, right. The last time that we teamed at 880, before that. We we beat the wildflowers, Tatiana. All right, we we gotta roll nice. back on that then. Um, how scary is it to hear Casey War yell, "I'm gonna drink his blood" before he even exits uh-huh. the the entrance way? Oh, I, I mean, if I'm standing in the ring waiting for somebody's music to hit, or if it's already hit, I'm in my own little space. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily pay attention to my opponent or anything else that is going on around me. I am merely in my own little zone. He doesn't even yell it around fans. That's the weird part. That's the, that's yeah, the strange to part himself. to me. It just it's just to psych himself up. But you want to know <laughs> you want to know what is a boost of confidence when we picked each other when when I picked up Ziggy and Casey picked up um, yes oh yes him, and we were both on the bottom and I backed him up to the ropes and I just hear him from the bottom just go. <sighs> like he's just sucking wind and i was like yes <laughs> right where i want you. yes the the shoulders chicken fight was fantastic it was amazing uh yeah yeah that was that was definitely a highlight um so 
Shit. <laughs> so the, I wanted to talk about the first time I met you. Um, I was doing a as it, uh, and I, I don't want to mess this up because I think I saw the the the, the owner of this company in the, one of the chats. Um, XC. I W or something. X I C W. I had the right letters in the wrong order. Excuse me. It's been several years. I think it was pre COVID where we did this. So we did a couple shows up there, and that's when I was introduced to the Bitcoin boys. And I think this is the first show I was up there. And you guys are having a match, and you you topple over. I think we talked about this the first time you came for Top Rope Tabletop, and knocked your head on the guardrail. Looked like the bottom of the guardrail, right? Wait. Was this in Ohio? This was in Ohio. Okay. So it's not... I don't think it was XICW. I think it was... I don't... I'm not remembering the name of the company right now, but it was basically the feeder yeah. for AIW. Yeah, I think I got the letters wrong, but yeah, yeah. It was not the guardrail. So basically, the the way our ring is set up is it has like a post right in the... like. Between between the two turnbuckles, right? There's like two metal beams that connect with like a little post at the bottom. UXWA. UX. Thank you. There it is. Because we're tech. Me and Eric are still technically the tag team champions of there. <laughs> <laughs> we have been for like four years. Okay. But any, anyways, so I held on too long doing a tope going hello. So I was going over the top rope, and I held and I pushed off the bottom or the top rope so that I would have enough oomph to get over. But I held on with my fingers. So when I came down, my head hit uh, the bottom of the post, like because it was like it's like a little like a little flat piece, and then like a post mm-hmm. that comes out of it. I hit my head on the flat piece, and it just split the back of my head open. Not enough to hurt, but just enough to split it open. Mm-hmm. And uh, I knew I had to do something right after that, so I threw Marino in. I, I felt the back of my head; it was pouring blood. So I tagged in Eric. I tagged, or I, I took off my shirt and tried to put it over the cut over my head and failed. So I just started pouring water bottles over the top of me. And then it eventually stopped. But I had to go to the back and get like my head super glued. It was, it was, it, and it's like you, you fired up once you saw the blood oh, yeah, out no. there. And I'm like, do we need to do something here? Because I was, I was worried because you were, you're bleeding pretty bad from the looks of things. Yeah. It was coming down all over my shoulders. And and that's how I was introduced to you. Was uh, it really? <laughs> yeah. I, think Sorg, I don't even I remember you being there. I was, uh, I believe I was on camera for that one. Uh, and actually, that may have been the second time I saw you because I'm looking at one with you fighting ants, and I think that's the first show. Oh, the yeah, the ants. Yes, I don't remember that match fondly. <laughs> okay, I mean the match was the match was fine. I just like I'm so removed from what I was back then that I look at matches and I'm just like this this guy has no idea what he's doing. That seems. I mean, I think that's kind of a. I think that's most people. I think most wrestlers hate their first like several years of matches right mm-hmm. so you know and i guess if you you i mean that that's the point of like i have come so far since this right Absolutely. i hate everything that i did three years ago even right at this point so like i you know i think that's anybody that's doing creative uh so i'm actually looking at some of the footage right now and here you are i think i think you are uh you yeah you see it kind of trickling down the back there. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! I, yeah, I wanna, I wanna I, you don't out, realize like, how Sork much you were bleeding. Holy shit! Yeah, I was gonna say Sork said kind of trickling down the back. Yeah, here. kind of. And it's a waterfall. And I'm doing a fucking spot. Look at me yeah. go. <laughs> That's a oh, professional that. right there. Look at that. Moon salt. Oh, bleeding everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. On his fresh new white gear. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Look, and then look, look, yep, the, there we go. The to, okay, there, dude, that's not the... helping nothing, Mikey. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. You're just like, I have it's to do not, something. I, I was panicking. I was, well, I mean, I wasn't panicking, but I was like, I have to do something about this. But I got so I was keep wiping it. Going. I wiped it. Yeah, there you go. You got, you got a lot of it. And I was, he was you like, didn't know it was halfway down back. your back, but. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, that was, uh, and I'm like, wow, these uh, fucking Bitcoin boys. And I tried to get you booked here, but oh yeah, out. no, I basically uh, panicked here. <laughs> so, don't watch this, please turn it this. off. Turn it off. Okay, please move it off. off. <laughs> move it off. Move <laughs> yeah. it off. All right. So God, that's, that that's where that's when it, that's when it went sideways, right? What? <laughs> oh, that was all. And I tried to do a rush at leg sweep, and his arm was behind my back. Oh my god. Um. Matt, uh, True Prince of Pro, is in the chat room. Says Cupid's Chokehold are the best and should be uh, booked together more often as a team. Thanks, Matt. I appreciate it. Yes. Um, so, go, and if you're curious, look up Cupid's Chokehold. Uh, there's a couple of matches on over on the 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 YouTube's that uh, we did at AAD. Yeah, so. we've only we've only had like three matches as a tag team. Mm-hmm. One, two of them. So I mean, we're there. You, you know, go. 66%. That's six percent. That's a good. That's a good percentage. <laughs> awesome. Um, so you are an AIW student. Yes. The classic AIW uh, uh, school that a lot of us have heard about. Um, and uh, you were trained by Derek Dillinger and um, and uh, Dominic Carini. Yep. Uh, and then um, for six months, um, I was trained by Josh Prohibition. Excellent. That's that's a great lineage. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. It's it's, it's three very different ways mm-hmm. of, of learning mm-hmm. professional wrestling, because. <laughs> Josh Josh is very meticulous mm-hmm. in the way that he does professional wrestling. And I imagine a little more old school, right? Old old school and new school. I would say the uh, he's kind of like say, D- let's say two thousands old school. Let's think think of it like DDP. You know, it's like DDP was just like on that brink of like old school and new school. Mm-hmm. Like he like did old school stuff, but he would write his matches all down, like before they would go out. Like he would write down everything. Josh is like that too. Really? Like, if you, like... And not K- too many people do that. Kayfabe? Mm-hmm. Can I break kayfabe? Uh, yeah, you can on this show. Okay. As long as you don't get in trouble. So, when Josh puts together matches, he types out, like, a Word document. Hmm. And he goes, these are all my ideas. Okay. And he writes, and he gives you them. So, I'm like, okay. okay. I, and I read... Like, the day of the match? Yeah. Okay. Like, and, and we just go, okay, 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 okay. Maybe, maybe we'll change this a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're good. So he's not meticulous. Like, I always hear the story of like how Macho Man Randy Savage, like m- months going into WrestleMania 3, wrote out the entire match for WrestleMania 3 with Steve Boat. Like, it's not down to that. It's just kind okay. of like, here's some ideas. Um, I mean, there a lot of it is, is written out. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, it's not like you do this move and I will. It's more the arc. Of, yeah, of exactly. Happened. Like, this is how. This is how I want the story to go. Exactly. Does, does Garini train you to wrestle in your bare feet? Absolutely not. Okay. I would never wrestle in my bare feet. He's wild. Yeah. He is for sure. wild. Especially when I was first starting out, I was um I was behind Gary. So I, I would just like hold the cord for him before it was cordless. Okay. Um and like so I would be watching him and he'd be doing like hardcore matches mm-hmm. and just stepping on tacks. <laughs> Broken glass. Nope. <laughs> nope. He was, he was like walking around like like it was um is that Christmas movie? That's not a Christmas movie. Die Hard? Uh I think you're well Die Hard is part is one, but I think uh uh Home Alone is probably the one you're thinking. No. With the with no, the, I'm no, thinking die, with hard, die Hard. They <laughs> glass. I think they both oh. apply here. Oh. Hey Mad Mike is oh. here with Hi. us. Shit. Hi. It it's fitting that I come in saying shoot the glass. Yes, you there you go. The there, the, uh, he's got our, our our Christmas movie references here. Uh, so straight from New York. What's up, Mad Mike? Hi. Uh, just fed a baby and put him down, and I figure I'd talk with y'all. For a Excellent. Bit. Do you have a question for our for our, uh, our our guest here? I think you've been tuning in for a little bit at least. I literally just hopped on two seconds ago. Okay. There you go. <laughs> um, you. Uh, we were talking a little bit before. You have an infamous story. About about a about how you got paid one okay. time. Okay, <laughs> I'll tell this story. Uh, only because, and I told this I I I told this story online because, um, a couple of people had a problem with a promoter putting out like trading cards, and they were taking profit for them, but they weren't. They had wrestlers' faces on them, but they weren't getting any, you know, like proceeds from Mm -hmm. so like they'd be selling you know like a pack of cards for twenty dollars 
with re- with wrestlers promo pictures on them that they had taken themselves. Mm-hmm. And the wrestlers had taken the pictures. Wrestlers had so, taken the pictures. Okay, given them the, to the promoter. Yeah, the promoter was putting them on trading cards. Oh, geez, and selling them. Yeah, because I know somebody does that around there, but I know it's his own photography and everything. Yep. So yeah. yeah. So um, when he was selling them, it was a big commotion online. Yeah, and people were running to the promoter's defense, like, "Oh, he's a good guy. He he would never do anything to intentionally, you know, like hurt somebody's business or anything like that." Um, and I had worked for this promoter before. Um, I was a last minute replacement, uh, for, uh, somebody that had canceled from one of their shows. Um, this is a religious federation. Okay. I've heard of these. I've never seen one of them. So during like what would be intermission, he would do a sermon. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and, you know, like, it was very, he, he didn't want you to swear, he wanted you to be, I had a. I was going to say, like, what gets limited on, on a wrestling match? I had a baseball jersey that on the back said Big Hog. Hmm. I took electrical tape and I had to go over it mm-hmm. so that it didn't say anything. But I kept the number, it was 26. Um, but uh, I, I was told. I, w- I was hopping in the car with somebody who was going, and then they were like, hey, do you have anybody that can come? We, we need we need p- bodies. So I was like, okay. And he was like, I can't I can't get you much, but I, I will get you something. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I go in, and I, and I do a, a triple threat match with um, my buddy and, and somebody else that I had never worked before. It was fine. We were the semi-main. Um, I go back. I put my, I put my gear away. I'm shaking his hand. He goes, hey, man, uh, I told you I couldn't get you much, but I, I, I did get you something. And he hands me my envelope. And out, of, and, and out of the kindness of my heart or maybe just the stupidity in my brain, I waited until we got to the car to open the envelope. Oh, no. And in that envelope it was not a single dollar, but a, but a printed out Bible verse. And that's it. What was the Bible verse? I bet it was a psalm. I'm sure it was. It was probably <laughs> it was probably like one of those like printouts that they have on the outside of like a Lutheran church that he just folded up and put it in a in an envelope <laughs> and put my name on it. Uh, that, that brings a new meaning to you know hot dog and a handshake. I guess, dude. I yeah. wish I would have gotten a hot dog and a handshake. Right. I really wish I would have I would have done what. Uh, I don't know if I should tell the story, but I I really wish I would have done what somebody told me to do one time is told me if somebody doesn't ever, if somebody doesn't pay you, just walk up to the merch stand, take whatever you want and say, uh, the promoter told me it was okay. I've, I've watched somebody do that actually. And um, I think we both know who we're talking about. Um, I have a pr- Actually, I don't think it's the same one. Okay, we'll talk. Mind. We'll have never a commercial mind. break. We'll talk, we can we'll talk, talk about, about that later. later. We'll talk about that later. But uh, you know, I, that could fit a lot of people. Actually, yeah, so for sure, that's an old carny trick. It is an old carny trick. Um, anyways, well, hey, we're going to talk about something else here that's going to make uh, probably a partner feel a lot older uh, in a moment. But in the meantime, you can see that match. That match is over at IndieWrestling.us. Uh, UXWA is the promotion. Uh, as well as a lot of great stuff. We had a lot of great shows this past weekend. And you can watch anything else other than that match on Indie Wrestling US, <laughs> actually. Well, like, good news. It's not part of the network. They would have to pay exclusively. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. There we oh, go. There I'll we put go. my thing. They're a professional over here. Uh, no, you can see a lot of stuff going on. We actually had, had a lot of shows this past weekend. There was 880 Wrestling on Thursday. That was pretty wild. Uh, we also did have a... Um, uh, we, we had 2PW and RWA over the weekend. Um, just some crazy, crazy shows. Uh, but, of course, the biggest one I think I, I think is appropriate to talk to you guys here as part of this uh, plug here is uh, our own Dutters had a little bit of a moment. Um, Friday night was uh, 2PW's uh, Wreck the Halls, and uh, somebody got her own entrance. And Tron, if you haven't seen this clip yet, uh, you can go check this out. It's for free over on 
uh, our YouTube page right now, uh, the 2PW Kicking Cancer's Ass Champion. This is a benefit show for young um, Scarlett, uh, uh, Scarlett Jones that was uh, uh, dealing with childhood leukemia. They raised over $1,400 for Scarlett yeah, uh, at the show. That's and, of course, amazing. we do have the matches will be coming out. The matches are free. There's a QR code uh, to, still, to still donate if you would like to over there if you're watching us on video now or if you go to our YouTube and and uh, uh, check out any of those matches or the show, Wreck the Halls, the entire show's up for free. The matches will be coming out here. Pasta Death Match, I think, is uh, is dropping tonight if you want to go check that out, too. Flaming Pasta. There you go. Did you, what did um, you just say? Fl- pasta Death Match? There's a Flaming Pasta? There's thing? Flaming Pasta that happened there. We'll get to that in a moment, maybe. Uh, that might be for Patreon. But, uh, of course, of course, who should get involved with that that David Lawless oh character, my God. you you've dealt with David Lawless at some point. Yeah, look TV. at him saying that that Dutter should thank him for the belt and everything. And of course, uh, things things end as you would expect. Oh my and for God, your audio, you got a slap. Oh. There's a good slap right there. And uh, you know, uh, Lebanon Don and uh, and uh, Don Murphy is sleeper uh, holding holding back holding back Lawless there for a moment. Yeah, he's fine. It's fine. It's fine. it's fine. it's fine. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. And then, uh, um, nope. And duck the clothesline and Dutter's boot. Oh, there you go. She what didn't. She got leave that the belt. boot. There you go. I, I just want to point out, she didn't leave the belt. Um, it stayed yeah. on her shoulder. Yeah, the belt stayed on the shoulder the whole time. Absolute it's, it's professional. That's the best big boot I've seen in wrestling in 2023. She threw it too. What's in that boot? <laughs> Uh, some Doc Martens, I think, right? Uh, yeah. I think they called it on commentary. They, so they were loving. So go check that out. Uh, Pasta Death Match Three: Xander Gabriel and Chess Flexor. There's three of them. Yes, there's three. Oh and there's God. a bag. Of, there's a bag on the pole match as well. <laughs> did they finally do the Taipei Pen A? They did not do it in there, but they did have God a. Damn it! I I know you. You have to wait for Pasta Death Match Four. Um, but there was a plate of pasta on fire. Where, the, where, where do I get booked for this? <laughs> you know, talk Honestly. To, talk, uh, get in with the Gambinos. Uh, Heard so. that. Gambinos, hit me up. Yeah, there you go. Honestly. And if you don't mind uh, going out to Worthington and pass the racist sign, then the glow, glow up sign, then you're good to go. I will put my <laughs> blinders on. Yeah. <laughs> Pasta. <laughs> So, uh, not reflective of the town or the promotion, just the guy that owns that sign. Uh, anyways, you've probably seen it on, on TikTok. Uh, so, so that's what's happening there. Um, we had, uh, what did we have a mark here for? Um, so I thought it was interesting because we were talking a little bit about how we watch wrestling and, and we were talking about VHS tapes. Like you and I were talking a little bit about what we were taking off of last week and how Derek Direction, Derlinger used to have tapes on and we actually Uh looked up blank tapes on Amazon and 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 I know you're of a generation that this mm-hmm. probably sounds crazy yep but like some of us grew up like I didn't have cable couldn't even watch pay-per-views three months later when SummerSlam gets on tape I rent it and then I have two VCRs and I'm recording the, it onto one of those blank tapes that I was showing you along with probably WrestleMania 7 so, or a Royal Rumble, because that's all they had was like the big four, right? And then mm-hmm. I watched my Sunday morning superstars and that was it. So that was my WWE network. And often you end up watching like WrestleMania 7 and Royal Rumble 1992 just because they're on the same tape, because that's what would fit on a six hour tape right. at the time, right? So you grew up with YouTube. I did. And I know you had a different, quite a different experience. I, I, I did. I, I will give you I, I will give you that the first bit of wrestling that I did receive like home video was a VHS of ninety seven backlash. Okay. Yeah. So I did have that it You started there. Okay. Okay. And then the next bit of, of wrestling um media that I had was a ripped copy of WrestleMania twenty four on a DVD. Yeah. Okay. Like so ripped that it had like the basic like ripped DVD menu of like the chapters, mm-hmm. but it didn't match up. So you if you would hit a chapter and it would be like the mid mid of it's, like it's, yeah. it would be mid Hornswoggle J or mid JBL versus uh, Fit Finley. I love this is this is a this is a different era that I I forgot about. Did you? <laughs> did, uh, that's my favorite WrestleMania. Like did that the Money with, in the Bank ladder mm-hmm. match for Matt Hardy is about to or where MVP is about to uh, get the. 
get the briefcase and Matt Hardy runs out after breaking his back like six months ago and, and, sw- and twist of fates him off of like a 12 foot ladder. It's the best movie. This is the Floyd Mayweather WrestleMania. Yes. Oh my <laughs> God. No, 24, 24 is a very underrated WrestleMania. I love that WrestleMania. This it was very This good. is edge undertaker, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yep. And it's I'm sorry I love you. CM Oh yeah, it's the, I'm sorry oh. I love you super kick. It's CM Punk winning the briefcase for the first time mm-hmm. after um uh the shell the utmost Shelton Benjamin performance in that match. Mm. <laughs> Shelton Benjamin was the MVP of that match. Mm-hmm. Before I think it was cuz Jeff is always going to do the swanton through the ladders, you know, mm-hmm. that's a that's a classic Jeff spot. Um but okay, yeah, that's the first bit. That's the first two bits of wrestling media I had, and then after that, I had my my first smartphone was an LG View Two. It had it had a, a very rudimentary browser on it, mm-hmm. but I, it did have YouTube, so I would watch wrestling on it, but not just any wrestling sort. Hold on, hold on. I found the phone. We found if the phone. Want, if you want to kind of yes. narrow this down, look at it that is a bad boy. View two. It is a oh my gosh! It's, what year is this? Do you have Do you have the slide out keyboard version? I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. So it just it just looks like this, but it has a slide out keyboard. Yeah, those has, days. Was that a, like a Windows phone? Maybe. Um. No, it was yeah, early it Android. Android. It's early, it was Android? early Android. Oh, okay, okay. Um, okay. but uh, this was the part of. This was the days of YouTube where people were putting out like backyard wrestling clips. And there was a lot of tramp. I started out with trampoline wrestling, which was basically just music videos, like music video wrestling, but with people doing wrestling moves on trampolines. Is this? I don't think I found it. <laughs> Tell me if this is it. Yes. <laughs> Best of Australian backyard wrestling. Oh my, oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. Can it's... you do me a favor? Yes. Can you look up I Y H W A on YouTube, <laughs> That's please? So many letters. I Y H W A. I think I heard about this. I just I need you. To, I need you to. I need to see the video list. Um. I don't, I don't okay. know if you can. Here we go. There, there, we got this thing. You mean like something? I need like to this? get. I need to get close because I have bad eyes. Okay. Well, it, I, I guess I can make it bigger, maybe a little bit. Like, yeah. There's only like a. He doesn't have that big of a monitor there. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? What we're doing? I'm looking for eight deadly eight sins, deadly part sins. one. Am I gonna get pulled from YouTube for years this? ago? It's so, it's so. The company went under. You're fine. Okay, all right. I'm okay, sure yeah, it's yeah. fine. They have seven thousand. It's had twenty. Jimmy Moore, views. look at him. Jimmy Moore, look at Dude, this look guy. At those. They bought kick pads off of Elucha, uh-huh. and they're doing their damnedest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at them doing technical wrestling. Right behind Look at Mom's them doing house. some spots. Oh, wow. Whoa, hey. whoa. Nice. That's, that's, that They're looks... doing some trips. Look at that. Look, that looks... Boom, athleticism. That A looks... homemade ring. That looks more... Boom. That looks more snug than the uh, Boom. Than, uh, NXT we were watching tonight. God. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. I got I got caught on a rabbit hole of this. Mm-hmm. I recently just watched this like three months ago. And Subscribe. I was like, they are doing some innovative spots. There's this one big guy that's in like some Punisher shorts in mm-hmm. one of the videos that I do not remember the name of, but mm-hmm. he and this other kid are doing some technical wizard stuff. There's this one kid called the he I, I he wanted to be the Undertaker so bad, but they wouldn't let him use the name, so they called him the Underminer. <laughs> but he was this little kid, like he he was like you know like a cruiserweight style wrestler. He had like shorts on and kick pads, but mm-hmm. him and this big. Uh, him and this big kid in the Punisher shorts are doing some like early ROH technical wrestling that is just mind blowing that I have yet to recreate with anybody. Mm-hmm. And I'm going so to do you, it. you are Emily. Are we, are we waiting for the day where you just like, you just like do one of these matches with somebody? Dude, Yeah, absolutely. Like some of like, don't get me wrong. A lot of it is sloppy. Yeah. A lot of it is sloppy. These guys are like, but the, most definitely untrained. Yeah, no doubt. But, like, because they're so untrained, they don't have, like, the mindset of, like, this only works with this and this and this. Mm-hmm. So, like, they're coming up with, they're coming up. Th- there he is. Is that Underminer? No, that's not Underminer. 
<laughs> Sorry, no, different shorts. Wait, this is the match, dude. I think yeah, we're oh, getting to some is good it shit. Unearthed oh. versus Adam Chunky Park. Yes, two? yes, unearthed. Go to unearthed. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what I can find here. I, I'm looking at this. I see a kid in a Punisher shirt. I'm like, yep, yeah, this, this seems about right. Versus Underminer, I think. All right, I'll see what I can do here. Any, anyway, cryptic, I'm sorry I got you guys. Adam on Chunky. Cryptic versus Adam, Adam Chunky. Chunky. I'm looking for it. Okay. Anyways, you're saying. I'm sorry I got down this weird rabbit hole, guys. But anyway, oh, hey, 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 this show, oh, this, hey. this show, this is show for is the designed love, for weird rabbit. Yeah, this holes. is for the love of wrestling. And if this is what it is, this then is this the is what it is. This is what I got love. you here. This is a, a cryptic versus. Yeah, we got Chunky. that kid up for an air raid crash. Dude, look, they have their friends and family here doing like they don't have mics, but they're doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude, look at this. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, dude, they're they're just doing, an air raid crash. Yeah, they're just That's pretty good. They're just doing some technical wrestling. Just under that tree and shit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, a um, Muda lock. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, so this is, so this is, this is again, this is I Y H W A. Yep. Have fun. Um, Will Osprey actually credits a lot of his stuff to these guys. No shit. <laughs> yeah. If you go to like Will Osprey, I, I got a problem with the camera work on this match, though. Personally. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's and but that, if oh, you well, go to well, if you go well, to Will Osprey's and Instagram and that, that full moon that just came out. Um, yeah. Hey, Sorg, Sorg, that was a waning moon at best. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if you go to like Will Osprey's Instagram, he has like a photo with these guys. Yeah. That like he he's just like I don't know like shirtless after a match that he invited these guys oh. to. Yeah. He, but like, he he's he's like shirtless and he's just like, dude, these guys. I credit these guys with their innovation and you know like, that you know I, I took after these guys. I watched all their stuff. By blah, the way, blah, blah, I think blah. it's really a. I don't know. It's probably just my algorithm here, but um, <clears throat> I, I I do kind of enjoy that you know uh, there's an enjoy wrestling right next to it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. Wait, no. you're right next to it, Sorg. Go back. What? Go back. What? 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 Go back. What? what? Reese Hayes is yeah. right there. Oh look! Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. The, 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 oh yeah, this is our live spots. Oh, this is my algorithm. Yeah, that's your this, algorithm. This is just my that's algorithm. That's okay. your algorithm. Okay, okay, there you go. Um, anyways, this is yeah. this is tremendous. I have this subscribed on the Mayhem account. Uh, so, you, I mean, they're not putting out new videos. No, 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 no. But there's plenty of catalog here. Oh, for sure. The account's dead as of like eight years ago. But it's like, jeez. Mm, and like their last video was three years ago. Is oh, it just shit. like a? Is it just like a? Thanks it's for like the memory. The finale. <laughs> the finale. Can you take me higher? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna get the end. Yeah, that's gonna give me. Oh a note. no! Yeah, no. The I just played it just now. The finale. The music video. It's of uh, my chemical romance. Of course it is. <laughs> is it black? It, what is it? Uh, black it's Black Parade. Parade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like as soon as I heard, boop, I was like, oh no, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> so so um when there needs to be a where are they now can we get all the can we get this crew on the podcast you think can yeah we can we get everybody like, here on listen, this, on we this went, show we, and you you would you would host it because you know this oh yeah yeah if we did this get everybody on a zoom call get you in the studio and be like well they went guys. through like two locations yeah I, they did it's like two eras kid oh, with the, it's just I, like I, it's oh, just wow, like rise wrestling this, kid with the this green dawn shorts. of the immortal kid with the green shorts is like the undercover promoter Okay. With the green shirt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, is, that is Blair Liger, I believe. Yeah, so he is like doing this like faction thing where he's like any any person that he like wants in his faction, he like puts him through like the ringer and then he gives him the green shorts or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but he's like he's like the promoter, right? Because it's like his dad's like whatever compound that they built this ring at or whatever. And then they had like a three year gap when they weren't making videos. And then they were like, we're back, guys. We're back at our new compound with the new ring. Because if you look at like the earlier I'm, videos, it's I'm, like not even I'm a looking ring. At the old ring. I'm looking at the old ring. Like oh, the boy. ropes are not even real. They're, they're just wrestling on sheets of foam. Yep, absolutely. The ropes are not even real. I, I gotta say, though, this is some impressive, impressive chain wrestling. Cryptic they, versus Liger. Dawn they, of the Immortals. They are making it work, dude. Absolutely. And like some of the Wait, other they're doing wheelbarrow spots. They're doing like they're doing like bridge. Dude, up they're spots. doing like, like wheelbarrow like that that wheelbarrow <sighs> buster gimmick that super dangerous move where you grab somebody mm -hmm. underneath their head and like hold their legs so that they crunch like 
they're doing that move, like oh, not shit. like they're calling that spot, and the guy taking it's like okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. These are these are brutal to watch. Wait, wait, have we even got to wait? Look up Best of Australian Backyard Wrestling Two. <laughs> this is a pivotal video in my childhood. Best of Australian Backyard Wrestling, wrestling Two. two. Oh. I will know it's the right video as soon as it starts playing. Yes. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. just it's just black and white text. Yes, right. it. there it Boom. is. Boom! Oh Into my a backbreaker. God. Oh, oh gosh! Oh, yeah! Oh no! That could yeah! Be oh no! Oh, yeah! Light to yeah! What's oh, a curb stomp on a curb? Oh, Shit! Boom! Oh. Bam! Jesus! Yeah! <laughs> This is gnarly. Oh they're wow. taking oh head bumps. God. They're taking, oh dude. God. They're doing dangerous stuff, and oh. I live it. I for just it. saw a sequence of about five tombstones that looked nasty. Dude, about Hold half, on. about halfway through this video, watch, dude. He's about oh. to do a thing onto nothing. Watch. <laughs> Wait, there's, just, there's about to. Be, oh my god. I, I'm I just, just rolled up. Oh, dude, into <laughs> the, the shooter <laughs> into the wait, fucking wait, wait, cover. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that breath. Wait, wait. That breath. Can we go back? Can we go back, please? I need to see that again. He shot it. No, no, you need to go back. He did a shooting. Listen, listen. He's got purple hair. First guy. Hey. Yes. One, two, yes. Three. All right. I want to see Earl Hebner do that. Let's, okay, if you're on audio, where's guy, Grandpa Aubrey? The first guy. They're not even in a ring. It's just like like a trash bag. I don't know. <laughs> the first guy does does a the shooting star bag. onto the guy for the pin, and then the referee with purple hair does a shooting star and starts counting the pin. What the hell? And, it's and the best thing, thing I've, I've ever seen. The referee. Seen. Hmm? That that ref started counting as soon as he landed yeah. the shooting. Yeah, ground. there was no adjustment. He, yeah. It was on coming down. He Look at this. Yep. Look at this. Bam! Oh. oh. Oh, wait. Hang on. That wasn't oh. the move I was thinking it was. Oh. 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 Bam. 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 Oh. Oh, my God. Bam. Bam. So much head injury here. Don't try this. At home, listen, no. man. Go to a school. Go, go, Jesus, go, go train. Us. Go train. Go Australia. Go train, dude. There's got to be some good there. schools in Australia. Listen, holy oh, crap! No. You can oh, say no. whatever no. you want. No. No. I love no. it. No. Don't do that. Oh. Bam! Oh. Oh. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. <laughs> I'm like Emerald Lagazzi over here. Bam! <laughs> oh, flips oh. to his feet. Oh my god! This is. I'm so sorry for Bam. everybody on audio right now, but this, this is, is bonkers. Just hit play on this video. Bam! We hit oh. so Bam. <laughs> and I'm sure it'll I mean, sink. We, we are agreeing oh. that we're seeing so many like neck injuries. Oh yeah. Here. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like oh. <laughs> Like you en enjoy your enjoy your rubber bodies now, children. Once you get past twenty, <laughs> I like that. I that like shit that, goes that, away real I like quick. That, yeah. that dropout oh, thing he did on the rope. Oh, dude, that was sick. That was not I'm, a good that song. That was sick. Jeez, these are definitely a bunch of kids I would have been hanging out with in school. Um, <laughs> I think I was hanging out with these, this because. We listen. We did backyard wrestling, but we did not do that kind of shit, I, dude. We had. I, I'm impressed there was a, that, that that one destroyer went from the ground to the ring. Yeah. <laughs> to the ring like, apron, right? That, that was an elevated. Destroyer. Yeah, I've, I've never. Seen you know how before. athletic they're, they're you have to be to downward. do that? Yeah, and not end up in the hospital. Oh, they were ending up in the is, hospital. Who is Cyrus oh, the dead in, body? <laughs> hey, you know what? If you're in Canada and your healthcare is free, by all means, give it a Dude, go. How's Australia roll? <laughs> Dude, there's a death match break at the end of that video where it's just like 45 seconds of them just like hitting each other with light tubes. Mm. But right before it, speaking of Die Hard, he just goes, there's a there's a thing that just goes, yippee ki -yay, motherfucker. And then it just goes, yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, well, let's see. The Australian healthcare system is the 32nd most effective in the world. Um, there's a there's lot most. of health. So, so better, but better in the U.S. Yeah, essential and urgent exactly. hospital treatment is free. So they're really, there you go. They're really trying to go the distance here. Um, 
and they know exactly how it happened. It's all on video. <laughs> exactly. So how did this? Yeah. Wow. A lot of dude. Um, that trauma center is going. Well, crazy. we got uh, the trauma. <laughs> Most active trauma center in uh, in there. Um, shout out to PWA Academy in uh, Australia. Uh, <laughs> you noticed Australia. that forty five percent of our of our intakes come in with kick pads. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. Um, back at wrestling promotions, changing locations because someone moved to a new house is always my favorite thing. Uh, there is a certain wrestling promotion. Uh, that's been around for a good long time. That kind of started in this in this kind of venue. <laughs> so, but I, I remember the change of like, whose house are we at now? And I'm like, yeah. And then they're like Swerve's house. It, well, um, and now and now they're celebrating an anniversary. So there you go. Um, got to start training refs locally to hit shooting star presses when they count the <laughs> pins. George, referee George, George. Ross. Yeah, listen. We have there a we go. Dude, for the, you. If there's anybody who can't do a shooting star <laughs> press, it's fucking George. Uh, give me, give me Perch. Give me Nixon. Give me uh, dude, per, uh, Perch. I, I want, I want dude, to do it the next Perch. Day if the there's game. anybody who I feel confident doing one, it's Perch. Mm-hmm. Perch would do one, and you would ask was, him to do it. He would, you would ask him to do it, and he'd be like, "Yeah, sure." He is the guy who I the the only AAW show that I directed. Um, there was a, a, uh, everybody everywhere weapons, Manser and, and a bunch of guys in the crowd at the Eagles club in Chicago. And somehow Perch was the only one bleeding the entire night. What do you just get caught with a stray he, shot? I, he got, I think a trash can got thrown and it caught him in the eye and he just Ooh. was bleeding bad, but he was, he is the happiest. If you don't know him, Perch, uh, XLV, on the uh, Twitter, he is the the happiest man in professional wrestling. Look at that man that I've ever freaking met. Look at that man. He's if just if he's around at a show, you're gonna have a happy show, and it's 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 he's he's a good one to have. I think he's been at Warrior as well. Is he has he been up in the Chicago area with you guys? I can't remember. Um, he's around. He gets, he gets around the Midwest pretty good. So, um, one of I the, mean, I've seen him everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I look at places I don't expect to see him at, and I'm like, "You're here." You're just like, "What are you doing here?" Yeah, yeah that's 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 pretty much the wrestling like, role. No. God, I'm just going to leave these on in the background. Okay, we need a breather <laughs> after that. Well, you just you just we're yeah, no, it just, it just leaving on. on in the background. So if you're just here and I'm just reacting to something, wow, that flew off. Um, we're going to come back. I don't know how much AEW we want to talk about, but we've had a loss here at the Wrestling Mayhem show. And we're going to get to it after we actually we do. So we, 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 we I should lead into this next part. Uh, top rope tabletop is this Friday, December fifteenth. It's going to be here at uh, Sorgatron Media. It will be streaming on all the indie wrestling US stuff for free. So uh, uh, please uh, tune in there. It's going to be a good time. Tony Kincaid is going to be leading that. Mike, you've gotten involved uh, with the top rope tabletop Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and you have been a a a energetic addition to the party oh, i must cool. say i appreciate that yes uh <laughs> so i think i'm energetic because like i haven't been like so like brought not necessarily brought down but i haven't been beaten over the head with like a bunch of lore that i have, <laughs> to, have that i have to pay attention and you to. came in like the second campaign too didn't you yeah yeah so like the majority of the time I have no idea what's going on. That's uh, that's that's pretty much my, been my D and D experience too. Yeah. So I tune in every episode. But I mean, I'm like, catch up. So I come at it with the same energy pretty much every time because I don't know. I feel like. Oh, sorry. I played a video. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I just saw some ridiculous shit. Sorry. No. Um, I I come with the same energy for it because I don't know. Like I, I don't. I I'm not so over barren by the by the lord that i have this huge responsibility to remember a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. so i'm I'm still very like it's like when you get a new job and you're still sort of like happy to be there and you're just mm -hmm. like oh yeah no this could be good it's mm -hmm. gonna be good mm -hmm. and then you get like two years in and you're like when is it <laughs> but no no my D D experience is super awesome like learning all the um learning all the mechanics of it is is, is a little bit difficult but it's it's no, it's a it's a good brain teaser. Mm -hmm. I love it, and I and I finally got to create something that wasn't like a bard for the new playthrough that we're doing on Friday. Wait, should I reveal what I'm doing? Uh, I don't know. Should you? Yeah, sure. I'm I'm doing a cat girl character. Okay. 
well, uh, I guess you would call it a Leonin. Uh, but I'm doing, uh, I'm doing like a fighter class. I'm going to be a battle master. So I have like a bunch of maneuvers that I can do with my attacks. Um, but the mini that I got, I got it, um, Miller's Crossing Fleetique. They have like these like little Lego figures that are just like in the case out front. And I put together like a little cat girl character and, um, I took a cape off of a Power Rangers figure. And I fastened it onto her, and I gave her two blades. She's pretty sweet. That's awesome. Her name That's... is her name is uh, Yuri Cat Ears or Yuri Soft Ears Bakar. <laughs> nice, <laughs> her nice. friends call her Soft Ears. Um, you call her Yuri. Uh, Dutters, I believe, is going to be a part of this as well. Oh my god, I and, totally forgot about that. And the last character she had had no pants and a top hat. Yeah. So there's... oh, I I <laughs> forgot about the no pants. <laughs> <laughs> was, was, was the, were they wearing underwear? I don't remember. I don't remember how deep, deep they got into the details on that one. Um, you know what I really did appreciate that you did one time? Hmm. Is you put um, what we did in the campaign through, I don't know if it was like AI or what you used, but you you put what we did through like a thing and it just like read out through. Oh, was that Facebook when Messenger? like Tony was on the call or something like that yes and yeah because i did through zoom and we have an ai thing on zoom i so, mean i can also take the script the transcript of it and stick it in ai and see what happens too yeah because i mean that was helpful to an extent to remember what we did mm -hmm. in the last game absolutely absolutely i think that i think they have to pay next week so i have to stop using that one service so oh. um and i pay for enough ai services right now to get my work done um <laughs> so tune in even if you don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know anything about it's Dungeons and Dragons. Pro wrestling, pro wrestlers, <laughs> and pro wrestling personalities playing Dungeons and Dragons, so you know it's going to be entertaining. Tune in; they've been doing this for a while. Back catalog is on IndieWrestling.network and on the YouTube uh, for IndieWrestling.us. But here we're going to take a moment, and Tony's going to let us know what we have in store this Friday. Hi, I'm Tony Kincaid. Uh, you might know me from every wrestling show in the Pittsburgh area. Well, most of them. And uh, Top Rope Tabletop. Man, what a doozy of a game that was. Jeez, I'm still unpacking everything. And because it's the holiday season, Keith, uh, the Bearcat Keith Hot, was kind enough to allow me to do my annual tradition of our annual holiday game. So... Look forward to some merriment and joy and cheer. Did I mention merriment? There was another M word. What was it? Oh yeah! Murder? <laughs> so yes, uh, maybe it won't be as bloody as I'm acting it up to be, but join us December 17th, where we will be holding the annual Kincaid's Chaos Holiday Show. Yeah, that sounds good. We hope to see you there. She just flew in from Orlando. This is... Pictures worth a thousand words. With Super Oprah. Super Oprah is one of the most unique athletes I've ever seen. Absolutely. Partner for... Okay! I have to wrestle it her way as much of a factor. That is the task that awaits. Well, you got your answer, Jason. Things have taken a turn for the worse for Danny Moe. One of the neon blonde. Oh, wow. Is the anger fueling Oprah? Tor tornado DDT. Bonanza that has been Super Oprah. Look out. Here is your winner. Get bigger than Super Oprah. And if you can't handle it, Jim, maybe you ought to go home. Right out the door. Oh, I came back now. Hey, guys, it's the Wrestling <laughs> Mayhem Show. I hit a button, and that's fine, because we wanted to come back anyways. That's fine. It's only my own thing I didn't advertise. Sidekickmediaservice.com. Uh, be your superhero sidekick in your production. Um, anyways, there, I finished the ad. <laughs> so you just don't hear Katie saying it. Or you're on audio, and it doesn't even matter. We are here. Mikey Montgomery is here, and he has questions. 
Oh, I have questions. You had you have a, you had a question that you asked, and I figured it would be more entertaining to explain. Oh, yeah. To what you. is what is the Iron Survivor Tournament or the Iron Survivor so, Challenge? So here's how it goes, and this is apparently uh, the brainchild. I'm using air quotes. Brainchild of Shawn Michaels. Um, so it is a 25 minute match. There is literally a, a clock that counts up to five, 25 minutes, right? And wait, you why wouldn't it count? Why wouldn't wait, it wait, count? wait, wait, uh, yeah. You, hold on, hold on. Okay. That that is the first thing. <laughs> There are five people in this match. The point of the match is to get the most pinfall submissions in the match. When you are pinned, you go into a penalty box for 90 seconds. Oh All right, you ready? But it starts with two people, and uh, uh, another person gets added every five minutes. So not everybody gets in there until 15 minutes into the thing. So the last person only has 10 minutes to get all the pins that they can't. Right. But also, you have everybody else has been in there, so they should be a little better. They're fresh as a daisy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you're, they're, yeah. so they're trying to mix in an Iron Man match, a scramble, and the concept of a Royal Rumble. Kind of. Yes. Right. Yes. I mean, okay. It's essentially like a staggered King of the Mountain. It is. It is. It is, it is, it is certainly, certainly the most complicated match that WWE has probably Right. Ever and done. the only way. Mm -hmm. The only way in my mind to make that sense for why one person comes in before the other is if you have like lead up to that pay-per-view being like this guy won this match so he gets placed here or this guy lost this match they so he have, gets placed well, here. Well, is that then they have qualifiers that the veterans pick the qualifying matches. Yeah, so they like have qualifying at, matches but the placement uh the entrance into the matches yeah. yeah. So, like, like Mick Foley will be on one week and say, "Hey, I think this guy and this guy f should fight for a spot, and I think this girl and this mm -hmm. girl should fight." Like, Mick Foley will pop up, and then Jerry Lawler popped up, and then uh, what Lita did Lita one and week. Lita and yeah, and JBL yeah. did one week to to help kind of build build up to that. So that was the build. So they're res so they're wrestling for an opportunity to be in the Iron Survivor match, and the winner mm -hmm. of the match gets a title shot. Right. So. And they, they both. So, but there's no match that you can win that would determine what order that you go. No, in. no, that is apparently random. Oh, because yeah. it because it depends. Hmm. It, like it depends if you want to be in there first or you want to be in there last. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you want to have? Do you want to have the most time to get pinfalls or submissions? Yeah. Or do you want to come in fresh to the daisy when everyone's beat to hell? Mm -hmm. You still have ten so, minutes left, so yeah, strategy. it's not like you're coming so, in with like so a there, minute there, left. Yeah, so there's a couple versions of strategy there, right? So. You know, there's that. It's kind of like Elimination Chamber is random. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's actually, who gets out. That's probably the most similar to what it is. It's yeah. It's it's most similar. It's like King of the Mountain plus well, Elimination. Well, yeah, Tina says King of the Mountain in a time scramble match combined. Yeah. yeah. So see, I always like the idea of like when a or when a baby face is like getting downtrodden by the authority figure or whatever it's like you have to come in first here or mm -hmm. last here mm -hmm. that's always my favorite story i mean they it's could like, add that in absolutely they, they haven't but they could add that yeah in. they haven't done authority figure in xt for a good while like, like you know i mean, Sean, I mean Sean this is only the there. second time this is only the second time they've done yeah yeah, yeah. Like, refresh yeah. my memory was it was it when john cena was held the championship did they make him come out first in the elimination chamber and then he won that and then edge came out maybe but also they no. did they did they no. did do the thing with roman reigns where i think he came in first and had to defend his title at nope, royal rumble nope, nope you're no? at, at rumble yeah but they've never done anything where um certain people are are have won their spot to start the elimination chamber. not to start they've but had, but, they, but for a better spot no they've had people like if you lost a match, mm -hmm. then you had to start the elimination. Mm. Right, mm. right. Okay. But the, the mm. only, but the only different, the only disadvantage to that is you're in the match longer, and once you're pinned, you're done. Mm -hmm. Right. But this this match is a little different. If you're pinned, you're just out for ninety seconds. You can regroup, you can refresh yourself, and then you come back in. What does the and penalty box look like? Is it like, sort of. is it like the a box. Is it like a telephone box it's, from like? Uh, yeah. 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 It's the coal yeah. mine. It's yeah, it's the coal mine, but with lights on it. <laughs> so, it, oh, it's like a yeah. it's and like no a, lid. It's like a and polyester and box no or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Polyester. Yeah. It's, 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 it's plectoglass without yeah, a lid. Glass. So there's yeah. no lid. Yeah, and there's no lid, so you can do stuff off the top of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Okay. Uh, like, or like, you can have multiple people, which they did have, get pinned back to back, and then you have two people in the penalty box at the same time, beating the shit out of each other. Do you remember when TNA, what, in the penalty box? Do you guys remember when TNA had the um had that like bird cage? That they had to get people to try and climb out through the, the small asylum. Hole. Oh, the, the terror asylum. Dome. Terror that, dome. That, um, no, no, no. Terror dome. Terror dome was WCW. I think it was the asylum. No, no, no. It was the terror dome. And then they changed it to the steel asylum. Yeah, he's right. He's right. Yeah, you're right. Sacrifice. I know because every time one wrestling podcast I listen to, every time they bring it up, they call it terror dome. Because homicide couldn't, homicide couldn't climb out of it. No, Jeff Hardy couldn't. No, homicide. Really, Jeff Hardy was on the top of the thing. I think Jeff Hardy I, climbed on the outside. Homicide. Jeff, Jeff showed up afterwards. Yeah, yeah. homicide yeah, yeah, couldn't climb up. climb up. And yeah. I think yeah. suicide got his got his foot stuck. Yes, he yep. did. So yeah, that, that was the most right. dangerous cage of all time. All right, guys. On that note, I have bad news. Mm. I'm part of this show that has been part of this show for probably over a decade. Oh. Uh, Something bad. Riz, Riz wit- <sighs> witnessed this. Mm-hmm. It happened during the awesome cast. But today, mm-hmm. today, sad day. today, my butt needs to say goodbye. Uh, no, not Big to, Dave. To, to Big Dave, I have had this Armageddon chair that was gifted to me by by one kicking cancer's ass champion several years ago for my birthday, and uh, it it collapsed on me today. As we were on the awesome cast, and I was telling people about the adult uh, entertainment expo, it was it, it made sense in context. Okay, Sora got really excited about the adult entertainment mm-hmm. entertainment expo. Yeah, and, and checking out the various no, things well, you could look you go, at. There. You can go to the website. It's it's it's, Don't it's, lie. it's, Don't it's, lie, it's most it's mostly safe for work. Um, I'll mostly. show it now. I'm not afraid to show it on this show. So yeah, so this will this will yeah, get but this, this show is not safe for work. <laughs> this will get special. Ask me for Twitch. This will get a special place somewhere in the studio, but will not be sat upon. <laughs> we to put What's wrong? On. What what actually broke on it, sort? Well, I don't know. We got a we got we got. Like, Hand it over. You got this broke. You got um the top part. Um, there's some breakage here going on. Sorg, you know? Sorg. I think I think to give the chair a proper send off, what we need to do is you need to not tell one of the STDs during the STD Christmas special. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break it anymore. It's a, it's an heirloom. Just so, so you know, it, it is, is one hundred and fifty-five dollars on eBay. And Arm and and that year's Armageddon was brought to you by Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. Um, what are you doing? What is he do? What are you doing? Fixing it, sword. It'll probably be fixed, but yeah, it's a cap, right? Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. It's it's gone. It's it's that is going to be put aside. Mm-hmm. And well, you know, hang it, hang it on a hook somewhere. This show, I've been riding Batista's face on this show this whole time. It's a big face on Big Dave. That <laughs> that will not be no longer. So that's a shame. The show, the debuted the Edgeheads, <laughs> Zach Ryder and and whatever the guy's name was there, uh, Kurt, Kurt Hawkins. Hawkins. Kurt, Hawkins. Kurt yeah. Hawkins, thank you. It's been so long since it's been Kurt Hawkins. Uh, so. Yep, yep. Pour one out, if you will. Pour one out. God, speaking of WrestleMania 24, <laughs> the Edgeheads. The Edgeheads, yes! Dude. Underrated Undertaker match that was. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember like half of it, but... That was Jimmy Corderas' big moment, I think, right? Because uh, he took the bump in it. He was specifically asked by Taker and Edge to be the referee in it. Yeah. So... Um, you talked we talked about it on the show when he was on. So, yeah, it was a uh, yeah that that's a big one there. And then the next year, I saw um, Taker and Sean when they did that big uh, Snooka's son bump, or like when uh, Snooka's son was the cameraman. Yep. Yep. I saw that uh, at a remember remember Blast Zones. Mm-hmm. I saw that at the Fox and Hound. I know. Remember that Fox and Hound. Wow, that's when uh, Santina Morella yep. became Miss WrestleMania. Oh my! Those gosh. were the days. Those were the days. So AEW has a tournament. I'm loving it. 
<laughs> by the way. Although I think they really need to put the graphic up a little bit longer so you can figure out what the fuck mm-hmm. is going on because I think a lot of people are, do not understand what's it's happening like when, It's like when fake FBI agents flash their badge. Exactly. Exactly. And there's a torrent. There's some numbers. But, 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 but this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's on the website. That's fine, I guess. Um, if, if nothing else, I love that on Rampage and on uh, uh, this week, at least, and over on uh, Collision, I think you have the best people to explain what's happening and the story of what's happening. I and mean, that's what matters. Like seeing that seeing that graphic for a couple seconds is, is not necessarily. If you listen to the commentary, Kevin Kelly is doing a superb job of telling you how important this win is for this person. Is this person mathematically eliminated? Is this the last ditch effort for Mark Briscoe or this person or this person, right? Um, so I think those stories are pre- representing themselves very, very well when it comes. And, and it is a big... Um, introduction to the american audiences and it could be a success it could not be i don't know i've been looking at the ratings we'll see what, and also we'll see how things turn out here at the end of the month at the uh pay-per-view when we see how things do shake out here in a couple weeks so um is it like an a block and a b block yep oh yep. so it's, yeah it's, 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 it's new it's japan their style. version of the g1 yeah it, okay it, it really is um i'll actually pull up the graphic so for can. so for aew's like original target audience they would kind of get that right mm-hmm. so yeah but it's also an introduction. Like, I, like I said, I, go ahead. One one thing that does kind of bug me. There's all these different ways of winning and earning points. Mm-hmm. They've only done wins and losses. That is, and and, 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 the, and the tournament is almost over. And there's and twice, I, I, like, there's twice. I thought I, they were going to go to a draw. I'm telling you, Swerve and Mox is going to a draw. Mm-hmm. It, it because Tony Khan even point. Put out a point to tweet uh, earlier tonight that TNT is granting them an extra five minutes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, so you're basically telling us Swerve and Mox are going to a draw. So, so you got this grid, and uh, basically, Whoa, that's confusing. basically everybody fights everybody. Like you see the names across the top, where the crosses over is that's a match being represented, right? That's why you're blanked out across the middle because John Moxley is not fighting John Moxley. This is not Mortal Kombat. Although it kind of is, um, they really made that over. I, like, but, but this is what they do. It, 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 no, the no, the but, New Japan ones look more complicated. I think why it's just a it's just two blocks with mm-hmm. people with points. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. and then they just they just give you the the matches that are happening that day. Mm-hmm. I feel well, like that's less complicated. They, well, they do that, but See, they the all, big problem is they didn't set the schedule before the tournament started. Mm. Do they? Um, I guess maybe that stuff doesn't really matter as much to me like what i want in wrestling is to be is to not be confused Mm -hmm. and and the moment that i have to really think about it is the moment that i'm taken out of it Mm -hmm. so it's like looking looking at that jeopardy board that you call it a block it, it 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 takes my brain a second for it to to wrap around it Whereas if oh you, whereas if you just give me the list of the wrestlers, how many points they have, how many and matches then just, they have left, and yeah, how many matches they have left, and then just separate that, and then being like, okay, these are the matches that are happening today. I don't need to know what matches have happened already. I don't need to know what matches are not happening today. I need to know. Yeah, what like the, today. this. That that is. But see that shows. There's you points. What all the matches are. Well, the, this. That shows oh, you what all the matches okay, are. I'm, those are dates. The, the, this is. I'm. Oh. I thought those were points. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, I was See, confused. On confused. That too. It's oh, confusing. That's also confusing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like just like wrestler points and matches remaining, and put little graphics of who's left. And I thought, I, and, I, and I think they're not like if you look at like like I'm, th- I'm 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 showcasing the graphics here, but like there is the you know. There is the general breakdown. Hey, he's three and zero. He's two and zero. He's okay. two and zero. Like, like yeah. there is that breakdown as well. And you have yeah, a but listing. That, leave it like that. Yeah. So that I mean, they do yeah, all of they it. They could. Yeah. They do all of it to to but they help don't show push that on, on TV. No, they don't. They don't show this on TV. But they do have like he's two and zero. He's three and one. You know, whatever the case may be. Right. Like that is happening um, to a certain point. So actually, that yeah. The well, the other thing is, notice they don't have it three zero and zero. Yeah, we're talking about how you can have a tie. So you should have it. You should. Everyone should have three no, no, wins, no, no, losses, no, 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 no. and ties. Classically, classically, you don't put the tie on until there is a tie. 
Um, it's when, true. Oh, okay. Sports. I'm I, thinking like cla- NHL, classically, like hockey, where, well, where you where, where you can't have ties. They football. always showed win losses. To tie. Yeah. Well, no football only normally. You can have ties in football. You can have it, but you can have hockey. Ties. They oh, always classically. Have, you can have in hockey, in they always show three. Hot, I don't hockey, know about hockey, I don't know about football. Hockey you know, also has no no halftime, so I don't want to hear about it. Uh, a, oh no, no it doesn't a, make any sense either. But no, hockey was made by a bunch of Canucks with wood. All right, let's. Hey. He would do the budget. They also had six. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um. Anyway, so I, I, I think I, you know, again, I, I, we're halfway through it. I think it's been really intriguing. Um, we're more than mm-hmm. halfway. I think it's going to be. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm predicting a big come out party for Swerve on this one. Like I, this, this is I, the next. I hope. want the finals to be Swerve versus Eddie. He's been doing a lot of media though re- recently, hasn't he? Swerve. Yeah. Has he? I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of like He's him been doing like everywhere. I know his, his song at the Kraken game. Yeah. Speaking of NHL, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I know Tina. Tina shared that here. I think this week. So um, I, 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 I don't know. I've been Seattle win. I I, I watch uh, YouTube shorts on my on my work break, and I always see him doing like interviews. Yeah, maybe I'm everywhere. just watching the same well, yeah, interview. Well, yeah, because he does he does again. a lot of hip hop interviews and stuff too. So yeah. he's kind of like integrated there. So he's he's always has something going on outside of things. But like this, his his like last few months of of work has just been absolutely tremendous. Um, mm-hmm. so he's gonna be, um, I he's he's gonna be a main event if not the belt in the next year for sure. Has to be, has to be at this point the way they're 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 rolling things. So, um, and that's gonna be huge. Um. Yeah, and I like they got a good mix of people that were that have done the mm-hmm. G one before or, or or something akin to that. So like I think that that's helpful for something like this. So, uh, but my I think my big problem is half of each bracket are just that filled with guys to lose. That that's have you seen a new that's Japan the, bracket? Yeah, I was going to no, say no, but, no, that's but, Chase okay. Owens and then every you get new then Japan you get a surprise. Yeah. But then you get a surprise like Yano beats Moxley, right? Okay, like but, that's the that's the special thing that can happen in these tournaments. But see, here's the, here's the thing: we didn't get why these people are in the game. Like some of them make a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Brian Moxley, sure, they make sense. Swerve, absolutely. Why isn't Hangman in? Mm-hmm. Why isn't Kenny Omega in it? Mm-hmm. Why isn't Chris Jericho in? It? Not that I'm advocating for more Chris Jericho, but he should be in it. Well, I think like, there's a- there are a lot of big names that are not in this thing. Mm-hmm. But you, why, is you it, do- why isn't Miro in it? Like, like I don't know. It's just it just seems like it just seems like a mismatch been of guys. qualifiers. There should have been some kind of like reason for these people to be in here because it's not their win loss record because Daniel Garcia hasn't won a match in, in a forever. Bit, in a bit and he's he's really kind of clawing from the bottom here. Mm-hmm. Jay Lethal was having nothing. Mark Mark yeah, Jay Lethal is something. there for no reason. Yeah. Oh well, I mean somebody has to be the fodder in these things. And that they'll play the spoiler for one or two matches here towards the end. That's usually how that yeah, kind of but, thing goes. So we're at the end. Mm. There's two matches left for each people. In A block, it can only be Swerve and Mox. Swerve and Mox that win. Sure. Like, it can only be them. And you got a three-way uh, tie over on the Blue League, so that gets a little more yeah. interesting. So you got you have one the one one block is is blowouts, and the other one's a little more even. Like, there's actually a, a like it could be any of those three guys. And so. I also don't like what they do with Danielson, but that's just my. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, I understand. I understand. But they're they're gonna play it. That's a story. That's a story they can play. It's an easy story to do, and uh, and you know wrestling, good wrestling rides the rails, man. So um, you know makes you believe. So but no, but I know it's different when the again it's my own hang up with Daniels and Red. Maybe he's not as hurt as we think. Maybe mm. he's more hurt than we think. He lied to WWE to get out of his contract. Maybe I don't know. He's a big boy. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, let's let let's yeah, let but I don't want to see someone get brain damage on TV. 
think let me show that. you Australian backyard wrestling. That's yeah, that. you just yeah, watch. Yeah. You just exactly. watch a bunch that's of brain not damage. on TV. Bam. <laughs> YouTube. Bam. Will be on my Bam. TV later. <laughs> so, dude, I got you hooked now, didn't I, Sorg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. great, is it? I love it. I'm gonna it. play it on the big screen Thursday before the show. Dude, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> go oh, back, oh, and oh. Missy's gonna be like, "What is this?" <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Be like the greatest thing ever. What, dude? Mikey showed me the best thing on the internet today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how good all good things start. Hey, you know what else is great? Supporting our people here all night long. Awesome cast wrestling and mayhem show. Our friends at Slice on Broadway, New York City style, Yinzer Bay, Beachview, Carnegie, East End, and North Hills, and so many more. Check them out. Slice on Broadway dot com. Supporting just, Pittsburgh podcasting with a perfect pepperoni pizza. I just had slice today. It's yes. Really good. Even though, even though it was left over from the previous podcast, I will say. Well, we get it early, so I, I will say that slice doesn't like get cold the way that other pizzas no. do like it, it still stays like it's relatively cold. malleable so yes. like i'm not i'm not biting into a piece of cardboard it's when you use like real cheese and shit yeah. you know that's like yeah. that's what that is you're just like well what the hell was the other pizza you know yeah, like like why 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 is pizza Hut just like i could i could if, like it's like that hurt SN- my dog if you know, i throw it at snl him. bit with uh bill Hader where it's like it looks like pizza and they're like that's what the, that's what the <laughs> company wants you to think yeah exactly exactly so anyways uh guys it's time to find out what did you learn from wrestling this week who would like to go first i'll start off i learned that if you really want to have a proper decoration done for your holiday party there's only one person to call and that's truth. Mm-hmm. It's true. Just make sure you don't change the locks in the front and the back of the clubhouse, though. You got to yeah, let truth in. Let the truth in. The truth, truth being part of the Judgment Day has been one of the joys of wrestling lately. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, from the chat room, Tina Keys from Seattle says, What I learned in wrestling, I didn't know Baron Corbin was trouble until he walked into... <laughs> Sunday's Chiefs games and was there with no tribalism at the Iron Claw movie premiere last night, and it was beautiful. Yeah, hey, uh, hey, you know Baron what? Corbin, Baron Corbin, Liv Morgan, and um, Cena were all at the Iron Claw yep. premiere. Cena hanging out with MJF. <laughs> really? And Liv Morgan right. hanging out with MJF, too. Um, nice. CJ Perry took a video of them together. <laughs> and MJF, of course, said, Oh, I'm just here to fuel the dating rumors again. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Of course. Uh Mikey, what'd you learn from wrestling lately? Um, I learned that I still love Australian backyard wrestling. Mm-hmm. Dude, <laughs> I did not think I was going to talk about that today. Mm-hmm. I really didn't. But <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what this show does to people. Dude, it's so sick. Like they are doing some really dangerous stuff. <laughs> Dude. Like watching it now, now you know everything that you do about wrestling from doing it for a few Ooh, years. Dude, I, I look <laughs> like at, it's worse now, I right? It, dude, I look at it and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. No, no, yeah. Like, it feels like wrestling now is getting into a renaissance where it's just like, we want to do athletic things, but we don't want to murder our own bodies. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like the early 2000s where it's just like, how can I look this, make this look as painful as possible? In any way, shape, or form. You, you had this. We had the backyard wrestling tapes. Oh yeah, were those on VHS too? <laughs> uh, yeah, they were definitely on VHS. I might have a DVD beta of max? them. So, but not beta max. I was that far back. No one's using beta. Not, 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 that's not, what, not that's, in that era. That's all that I hear is that beta was the better format, but everybody used VHS. Absolutely. And that, and going back to Awesome Cast, that war was fought and won at the Adult Entertainment Expo. Right. That's why we were talking about it because that's the real technology expo. Anyways, go listen to Awesome Cast, awesomecast.com. Um, I don't know where we're going with this. Sorg, where did, what did no, you learn what from wrestling? Doing. I learned, well, first of all, there's there's a few things that hit with me. One, somebody who who is a friend of, 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 of said wrestler saying across the locker room, man, I used to see you on at two in the morning on the backyard wrestling commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Cross was at a couple of shows this past weekend. And also, he was a joy at both shows. Uh, and he, he, not that Matt Cross is ever not a joy, um, but it was fantastic. And bad, uh, debuting at RWA, um, against J Rock and uh, taking on uh, Super Hentai, who got his name back for one night, apparently. 
um, over at TPW. So that was good. Um, that was a lot of fun. But also, so the biggest thing I learned, I, and this is little, this is old school, 2006, starting to watch independent wrestling, me uh, uh, loving this visual of the Gambino brothers, you know, the moving company guys, mm-hmm. uh, uh, um, going around and getting donations like here, like people were straight up pulling money out of their out of their wallets and handing them to the Gambinos for this charity that we were doing this weekend. Or, it was. Or, would you would you say that was very moving? It was very moving. Absolutely, I was about to cry backstage when this thing was happening. They walked. They literally walked around the entire ring and just people are handing them money, like for wow. this, that like going to this donation. They gained over fourteen hundred dollars. Uh, raised for uh, Scarlett Jones, and I, I just this was like this was like one of the most heartwarming nights of wrestling. I think a lot of us needed this <laughs> needed a night like this, um, and that's that, that is fantastic. And that is not a large room of wrestling of wrestling fans. Mm. You know what I mean? And and still like it, but it was like a a I don't know, like, I don't know if it's a sellout or what it is for their the, you know for that room. You know, I'm sure we're near fire code on this thing. Uh, this is right after intermission, so I'm sure there's still a few people smoking outside too. Um, but yeah, yeah, you see all that happening, um, and that was just really, really cool and just an interesting kind of roll around thing for this. And also, just see Mickey just having a good time uh, so behind him. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was just it's so good to see the see the gang back together here for this. Um, and, and such good vibes coming out of TPW uh, or Gambino Pro, as we like to call it around here. Uh, so, yes, there's Gambino Pro and then there's Beastman Pro, right? So, uh, VCW down in oh, West yeah, Virginia, yeah, yeah, Beastman yeah. Pro. Okay, yeah. So, uh, you know, hey, you know what? Pro wrestling uh, promoting so easy, a caveman can do it. I'm going to pitch that for the <laughs> slogan next year. <laughs> Me and me and Ziggy have have fantasies about us being fifty years old, having like a Louisiana shit fed, <laughs> <laughs> like where we just, where you where you find a new Alabama do- doink and and just kind of roll with it. I will be Alabama. Doink. You will be Alabama doink. Yep. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And Aspirations. I'll come, dude, I'll come back with my <laughs> runny ass clown makeup, just telling kids, "Yeah, the house is light. I'll get you next time, kid." <laughs> Um, I have one more thing I learned that I'll pull up here in a little bit here, but we'll get through, through a couple other ones. Uh, yep. Who else wants to go next? I'll go. Uh, I learned that CM Punk still thinks that Kofi Kingston is Jamaican. Yes. 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 Uh, that whole that, that whole thing like, that, that was, was tri- I thought that was true. Yes. That was Triple H. Didn't Triple H make a joke about that too? I think he did too. I think he did. He too. did too. Yeah. What's so. it? What's it like being Kofi Kingston? Where it's just like we're gonna make you Jamaican, and then all of a sudden one day they're just like, "Hey, you know that accent that you've been doing on television for like a year? Mm-hmm. Just drop it." They did it the best way too, because he just he like did started a talking lot longer than a year. Yeah, he did a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it was a Survivor Series thing, right? Where I think so. Oh, no, he was on ECW first. No, no. What, what I'm what I'm saying he was is when he stopped he, it. Yeah. When he stopped doing the when he stopped doing the accent, it was doing during like a Survivor Series promo in the ring, and then Triple H turned him and he just goes, "I have one question. What happened to your Jamaican accent?" Yes, uh, we got one more in the Zoom who didn't go yet. Correct? Yes. Um, I I learned that. Uh, it's 2020, ladies and gentlemen. We can't all be making meta references anymore. anymore. It's 2023. 20, 20, 2023. We can't just be making meta references anymore. That's okay. Not what wrestling is about. Okay. That's what the punk is going to do. Whole time. Whole time, very much. That's more. That's more no, of the other company's uh, thing. Yeah. I love meta wrestling. Uh, you know well, what no, I wanted? Punk, punk said that he doesn't want to work with Kevin Owens because Kevin Owens. Is backstage punching people in the face for no reason. And who would do that? Be doing stuff like that. And who would do that? But I, I, I also learned that Punk and Rollins is going to make a lot of money. Yeah, everybody's going to do very well with that. It's, it's going to make a lot of money. And my favorite tweet of the week was the WWE Creative. They tweeted out that Jack Perry and the Young Bucks just learned that you can make money by hitting CM. What? Mm-hmm. Is that like a parody account or? I don't, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's yeah. a parody account. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah. I was yeah. genuinely confused. It's a parody account, but I'm like, that's pretty funny. It's a good parody account because it gives out a lot of truths. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I, I really enjoy that. But yeah, it's like, 
It, didn't the Young Bucks Not also decide they needed to take an extended break? Sure did. Um, last thing I think a lot of us learned this weekend is that pasta is flammable. Uh, let's see. There's Mambo, I poke the sander. There's some flaming pasta. Oh, and was it F, what's what, it on is, top? Is of? that Ferrari? Boink. Yep, that's Pump Ferrari through the table. What is that? He is definitely on fire. Is that a card table? What yeah, it is. is it, it, it's a piece of metal of some sort. Ooh. So he goes down. Now wait. Now look in the background. We go to the other shot here for this <laughs> pin, and you go. And he's got the pin, and the you, you see it's still on fire. <laughs> Oh my! It's still God. on fire, <laughs> smoldering, and was slid towards the fans and relatively towards the sick child that we were uh, uh, the benefit <laughs> oh for. My God. Uh, so yeah, that, that is Chef Pump Ferrari, and uh, that is uh, uh, Chess Flexor winning the Anarchy Championship. <laughs> I need I need to talk to Chess Flexor, and the next time they do this, they need to do the Taipei Pen A. Yes. Uh, well, you'll be able they to because uh, Chess Flexor and the STDs will be here. Next Wednesday for the yearly annual STD Christmas special, okay. where we spread the Christmas joy of the STDs, and uh, we're talking about what that show is going to look like, and it will look like something. Uh, last year, uh, there was a uh, we introduced our our, our friends from Texas, uh, Merlin and Amon, via the STD Christmas special, and uh, and there was definitely I think they're still in therapy. Um, so we'll see how that goes. If you're interested in joining us, if you want to join it in live, we'll be live here. Uh, that'll probably be, I, I haven't narrowed down the time that we're we'll always starting that night, but look for that on Wednesday. Dynamite, whatever, tune into the STD Christmas special. I think it'll be more unpredictable. Uh, so there you go. Mikey, uh, it will go ahead. I was say, just as a tea to remember last year, I will take credit for putting both of them in the therapy. Because if I remember correctly, wasn't that where we had the different challenges? Yes, yes. Including where I gave someone who happens to be on this call a lap dance. Yeah, those are those are the kinds of things that happen. There was barbed yeah. wire involved at one point. <laughs> barbed wire karaoke was one thing. Barbed wire. Uh, yeah, with yeah. Bradley. Was, with Bradley. With Bradley. With Bradley. Gimmick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it was, it was fairly real. Oh. Uh, oh, no, ask mm-hmm. Bradley about it. So oh, yeah, Bradley <laughs> took barbed wire. Oh, and- and Tina mentioned this in the chat before. Just as a reminder, ROH final battles this weekend. Yes, mm-hmm. on Friday night. With the women's main event because you can't put the ROH title on the line because it's caught in a stupid tournament. Uh, there'll be plenty. There'll be plenty. It'll be a good show. Either way. Just be happy you get a women's main event. Yeah, you get a women's main event. I'm yeah. I'm happy about that. I yes. Wish they, I wish that would happen on Dynamite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, what if it happens a, a couple times a year? Nope. No, it doesn't. Uh, okay. It's happened a couple times in general. Um, a couple but, times, sure. Sure, sure. We're too late in the show to get in this argument, Mike. Uh, <laughs> Mikey Montgomery, thank you so much. Where can people find you online? You can find me at um, MontgomeryM21 on Twitter. You can find me at boo Mikey Montgomery BB at um on Instagram. You need a tiny URL. Huh? I need I do need a you, tiny You need URL. a tiny URL. Talk I keep seeing everybody that has them and they look so nice. Talk to daughters. I will. Talk to daughters. But yeah. Anyway, you can basically if you type in Mikey Montgomery on the internet, you it'll basically come up with one drummer guy and then me. <laughs> So <laughs> there's like, there, get, you, get, click on the guy that looks like they like Australian backyard wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> get, click on the photo that looks like this. Yeah. There <laughs> you go. There it is. Well, that's basically what your picture is going to be on the, on the cover art. So they'll, they'll get it on audio. Uh, uh, thank you Riz for being here. I somehow I'm the word of the year. Yeah. Congratulations. Or, yeah. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Did you have that nickname before it became yes. a quote, colloquialism? It's actually part of his it's name. part of my last name. He's been the Riz for at least 15 years. You got the Riz, dude. Yeah. Now everybody's talking um, about him. Yeah. Everybody's saying it now. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> follow me at Riz Plays Games on Twitch, on Twitter, on Facebook, anything. You play. I'll be doing things. There you go. Mad Mike 483 on social media is when he's not busy changing diapers. Yeah, um, I, I still have time to randomly tweet out uh, and get things together for a holiday special. So, you know. There you go. Yeah. There you go. And Dave Potter. Yep. Uh, Prof Pod pretty much on all the socials except for TikTok where I'm Prof Pod PGH. 
And I'm at Sorgatron on all the social medias. Uh, I will be, of course, up there at 880 Wrestling uh, doing some production things. Uh, I will also be uh, behind the ones and twos over at 247 Fighting Championship in Monroeville, right down the road from the Riz. Um, and then Sunday, we are in McMechan, West Virginia for VCW's um, Road 2 Victory, in which uh, Beastman and Cowpoke Paul will take on uh, Madman Pondo and Shadow WX or something like that. Uh, he's the guy that uh, apparently lit himself on fire. That's the only thing that's when I keep asking. That's what people keep telling me. So that's the only descriptor I have. Um, so it's got uh, VCW is always a good show, and of course that'll be on the network as well. If you can't, if you're afraid of West Virginia. Um, so oh. yes. Also, sort real quick. I just checked the time. We are after midnight, so I can officially say. Happy 20th anniversary to Ruth if she's watching. Hey. Happy anniversary hey. to the wow. partners. Yeah. Yay. Thank I you. Like I should have sound effects or something. Thank you, everybody. Stay tuned if you're on Patreon for uh, the Patreon special. Oh, and uh, we'll see you guys next week uh, for the year-end Christmas edition. There will be singing. There will be mayhem. There will be singing mayhem. Until then, mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.